back, everyone. My name is Patrick. You're watching the Oilers Rundown. Oilers insider Bob Stoffer basically announcing today the Oilers are on notice. Something is going to go down within the next 48 hours. Somebody is leaving the Edmonton Oilers one way or another, and I think we all know that player is Jesse Pugliarvi. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be by trade. I went over at Cap Friendly today, made sure a Yessi Pooley RV waiver assignment would do the trick to allow the Oilers to activate Kyler Yamamoto. Now, I've been saying for the last little while that he was eligible to return on Sunday against the Montreal Canadiens because that was my belief, and I'm pretty sure I read that in multiple places. But Bob Stoffer and Ken Holland both confirming today on Bob Stoffer on Oilers Now, Ken Holland on the Got Your Back podcast, that Kyler Yamamoto can actually return on Saturday against the Ottawa Senators, which kind of bumps up the timeline for Yessi Pugliarvi. Now, to my understanding, Yessi Pugliarvi, if he's going to go on waivers, would need to go on waivers tomorrow so he can clear by Friday, which would allow the Oilers to activate Kyler Yamamoto on Saturday. I believe if they put Yessi on waivers on Friday, that wouldn't allow them to activate Yamamoto on Saturday because it's an earlier game in Ottawa and then another early game on Sunday. So I think if the Oilers go the waiver route, it's going to be tomorrow. However, if they go the trade route, which I think everyone would be most preferable with, it gets rid of Jesse Pugliarvi's cap space. Hopefully, we'll see if another contract's coming back the other way or if the Oilers have to include a sweetener. We have no idea what a trade's going to look like. There's been reports that a trade is in place, possibly with the St. Louis Blues, possibly with the Arizona Coyotes, but that's entirely speculation at this point. Frank Saravalli was the source on that, but... As I said, we have no idea which team, what's coming back. But as I said, a trade is the most preferable option. Even if the Oilers were to put Jesse Pugliarvi on waivers and he clears, they're still going to have to move him at some point if they want to do anything of value at the trade deadline. So I think 99% we're looking at a trade here for Jesse Pugliarvi, but I promise nothing. As, as we all know, there's been a lot of false starts on this. Jesse Pugliarvi has been in the rumor mill for years, so... No guarantee a trade happens, but I think we are at the closest we've ever been to it actually happening. So when is that trade going to take place? I was really hoping it was going to happen today, and who knows? It might still tonight. This video might be uh, out of date real fast. I don't think it's going to be tomorrow at this point with the Oilers taking on the Flyers. I think we're going to see the trade on Friday. On Friday, I'm going to be on a plane most of the day heading to Montreal for the weekend, so... Of course, that would be when the trade goes down. That's my guess at this point. I'm really hoping it happens, well, preferably tonight. I'll be at my hotel room tomorrow night, so this will be my last video in the studio here for a few days until I'm back from Montreal. But no matter where I do the video from, I'd like to bring that coverage to you guys. It's been talked about so long here. I've done so many videos on it. It would be really nice to finally have the story, go over Yessi Pugliarvi's time in Edmonton with you guys, get your comments and questions and all that. So we'll see what happens here. But my guess right now is that we see a Yessi Pugliarvi trade go down on Friday. And if he is going on waivers, I think that happens tomorrow. If the Oilers go the waiver route with Jesse Pugliarvi, it will leave them with $167 in cap space, basically what they started the year with, and Devin Shore would also have to head down in that scenario. And if the Oilers can move Jesse Pugliarvi with taking no money back, they'll be left with $1,875,167 in cap space, and that would be with Devin Shore sent down as well. If they keep Devin Shore up, they would have $1.025 in cap space. So as I always say, let's see what happens here, guys. I think Jesse Pugliarvi, if he is traded, goes to either Arizona, St. Louis, or Anaheim. That's my guess, one of those three teams. As far as the latest on Jacob Chikrin goes, we believe LA, Toronto, Boston, the Oilers are some of the key teams in on him, but I'm sure there are more teams than just that. Those are just the teams that are being talked about the most. Bob Stoffer mentioned today, obviously, and Ken Holland as well. It's going to be a money-in, money-out deal if the Oilers are able to bring in Jacob Chikrin. A lot of people for bringing Chikrin in, a lot of people against it. I get the arguments from both sides. What happens with Philip Broberg in that scenario? What happens with Vincent DeHarnay in that scenario? Honestly, it would be just guesses on my part. 
someone's got to come out of the lineup, whether it's Broberg, whether it's DeHarnay. The Oilers can send Broberg down to Bakersfield, but you could argue that Broberg's probably been one of their best defensemen lately. So do you really want to take him out? Vincent DeHarnay's had a really strong start with the Oilers, been really effective. So if someone comes out, no idea who it is. Your guess is as good as mine, but that's basically the latest on Jacob Chikrin. It's going to be a money-in, money-out deal, basically for anything the Oilers do at the trade deadline. Ken Holland appeared on the Got Your Back podcast today saying as much. He's working the phones. He'd like to do a deal. All things that you want to hear. He didn't commit to anything, obviously. He's not going to mention any players in particular that would be tampering, but Ken Holland is working the phones, trying to find a deal for the Edmonton Oilers. It sounds like he's leaning more towards waiting till closer to the trade deadline. So aside from a Yessi Pugliarvi trade, I don't think we're going to see a Chikrin trade or any other players brought in unless they come in via the Yessi Pugliarvi trade in the near future. I think the Oilers' bigger trade deadline deal is probably going to happen closer to March 3rd. But I think that's pretty much it for now, guys. Unless something goes down tonight, I'll hop back on with a new video. As I said, this is going to be my last video here in the studio for a while. Going to be on the road here. I'm going to be at the Edmonton Oilers Montreal Canadiens game at the Bell Center on Sunday. So I'll be bringing you guys live coverage from there. A little pre-game show, post-game show, maybe some other stuff. Haven't decided fully yet. But uh, yeah, my next few videos will be on the road. So no studio here for a while until uh, after Monday next week. So that's all for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Maybe very soon.